Hi, my name's Dee and I'm here today talking about the Sweet Goodbye product. Um, we had the experience of using the Sweet Goodbye Burial Kit for our beautiful Border Collie Cross Jackson who was nearly 16 years old and he recently passed. Thought we'd prepared um, ourselves for saying goodbye and what we would do and what it would be like afterwards um, but to be honest until a, a very special friend gifted the um, sweet goodbye kit to us we probably realized that maybe we weren't as prepared as we thought we were we got the kit <clears throat> about six days before we made the appointment we had the vets coming to the home because we um, wanted his final moments to be where he lived. Um, the day we got the kit, <clears throat> we, um, we laid it out and immediately um, Jackson walked over and laid on it and that gave me uh, a really great level of comfort because it allowed um, our other dog and us and the kids to lay with Jackson and for us to leave our smells and our scents with him knowing that that's what he was going to be wrapped up in and and be buried in. Um, the actual kit and the bedding is beautiful, um, really soft, really um, comforting um, and the other part of the the Sweet Goodbye um, kit that we really liked was the booklet. Um, it really brought to life the fact of how important our pets and animals are and we go to all this trouble to say goodbye to our human people in our life and we should probably do the same for our pets. It also made me think about <clears throat> how we were going to explain this to the kids and talk to the kids about it. Um, and that made it, the conversation a lot easier. Um, the kit also has these great um, uh, sort of templates in the back to write letters. And I hadn't actually thought about writing a letter um, and putting it with him, but because they were there in the booklet, um, that's what we did. And that was a great way of having a really personalized message um, to our boy and putting that in with him when we finally wrapped him up. When we finally got to the day, um, it was very much about having a, a really calm and relaxing atmosphere for him. Um, we had some nice music um, and a candle and his favorite place was the beach. So we had some sand from his favorite beach. Uh, it really, made the whole process much more intimate and valuable and um, just what he deserved. So not only was the process really beautiful and, and the act of actually saying goodbye was extremely upsetting, um, but I guess you're not really in the mindset to think about the logistics of then how do you transport him and we buried him in our backyard. Um, so it was just everything had been thought of. We wrapped him up, it was a beautiful process. And then being able to lift him with ease and put him in the ground and, and cover that hole and know that he is wrapped up safe and warm and with lots of love. That was really important. I'm forever grateful to our friend for providing it as a gift. I think it's something that I will be doing for my family and friends who are all pet lovers, um, whether it be a dog or a cat. Um, it's something that we'll definitely do for other people because it was so valuable for us. I think for our, our other dog that we have, um, I think we'll, we'll definitely be getting a kit um, a lot sooner. Um, than we did this time around and, and making sure that it becomes a part of, of the end of their life and, and um, I really hope that 
uh, everyone gets a chance to have a proper goodbye for the important um, pets that we have in our life. I think, you know, we, we often go through life and we're really busy and we get on this cycle of um, money and working and kids and family, but at the centre of it all, we generally all have a pet or a, or a family um, pet in our home that just makes us laugh and smile and they play such an important role in our lives and I think um, we owe it to them to um, say goodbye to them properly.